I want to leave you with one more variation of colorings, and then I also want to draw a magic trick for you. So, so we, so we see we can't have two coloring of two. If we have a coloring with four colors, five colors, six colors, so let me write something. So a mod p coloring, a uh, mod p labeling knot diagram is we're just going to take three and we're just going to replace three with any number. Okay. So a knot diagram is label mod p if e. Uh, so instead of zero one three, uh, excuse me, zero one two, it's just got to zero one in this notation p minus one. Okay. Each arc is labeled p minus one. So then, one, two colors are used, person. So the following equation holds, 2x minus y minus e equals 0 mod p, where the strand, the overstrand, is the one labeled x, and the other two strands are labeled y and z. Okay. So at each crossing, at each crossing, I need them labeled, so that if I look at the overcrossing, okay, I, and I look at that labeling, and I multiply that number by two, and then I subtract the number I have on the other two crossings, then I get zero mod p. So, so first, the first thing to check is that when p equals three, this is the same as what we were looking at before. So. The mush needs to go check that P equals 3 is the same. So this is the same as the earlier definition. 2. Determine which of the knots up to up to 8, 6, 7, 7 are can be labeled labeled more five. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm leaving you with the same homework as last time, but now you are labeling mod five. Okay. And maybe maybe that's a, it's enough. And next week we'll look at so now we've we've had some fun with some Proposed invariants will look at proving that these invariants don't depend on your choice of diagram. And so for this problem here, I, I suggest you work with this, this one, this sheet I have down. I think these are a little bit better. And just as a last reflection, if you want to impress your friends, impress your friends, here's a magic trick. Firstly, convince yourself that you can't... So what I've drawn is a link with three components. These are called the Borromean rings. These are called the Borromean rings. There are three, three circles here. It's a three-component link. Okay. And so firstly, convince yourself that you can't pull these apart. But on the other hand, if I were to rub out one component. If I were to rub out the white, can I now pull apart the red and the yellow? Yes. Okay. And you might believe me if I say, if you do it for, I either if you choose the red and you rub that out, then you can pull apart the, these two. And if you rub out the yellow, then you can pull apart these two. Can you see that? Yes. Okay. So that's a property of certain links, they're called Brunian links. That's not the point. Okay, but what I want you to have a look at is, okay, so what you do is, oh, I'm not sure how to say it in Russian, but mountain climbers, they have these, these clips. So what, what I, I'll show you the knot, the link first, and then you can think of how you might construct it. Okay. So what you do is you take the Brahmin rings, okay, 
and now you introduce a crossing with the yellow and the uh, white. Okay. Okay, so you hook them on. Hook it on like that. Okay, so, so do that, and then see if you can see if you can now pull up, pull off the reed. So that's how. Okay, pull on, pull out the reed. So I changed the yellow and the white, and so that I could pull off the reed. Yeah, well, that's obvious. You take the upper part of the red circle, and you uh, pull it. Uh, this part? No, 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 the upper one. Uh, and you pull it uh, on the uh, yellow uh, circle uh, 